It's Tuesday. We're four days out from the World Tour Finals in Glasgow. Rip the roof off the hydro for the hydro! When a competition comes to Glasgow, or anywhere in Scotland, it's always special having it in my homeland. With years of experience. The crowd, the energy, the atmosphere. It has that energy that you can't really describe. It's electric. Back in 2021, when I won the competition, it was an incredible moment sharing the podium with my baby brother, Tom. I am the proudest dad in Scotland, in Britain, and in the world. I start today like I start every day, in the cold. I've spoken many times about why I do the cold. A space to just breathe. Yes, it's a recovery tool for me as an athlete, but it's also much more than that. Sometimes when I'm in the cold water in the morning, I think to myself, how many years do I have left in this amazing sport? Is this the autumn of my career, I guess you could ask. It's a strange sensation if I'm honest. This is my life. I've done it for so many years now and it's all I really know how to do. I know the clock is ticking, and I know people are asking, how long does Luke Stoltman have left? Yes, I'm almost 40, but I also feel one of the best I've ever felt. Training is going well. My bicep still has niggles, but it's feeling the best it's felt since I started my recovery. Shane and I have built something really special this year. I said to Shane that 2024 will be the warm-up year, and I believe 2025 will be really special. My body feels different. I feel fitter, faster, just different to how I was. Like I've said before, it's just about turning up, being consistent, even on the days I'm tired, sleep deprived, fucked off, and don't want to do anything. But you still turn up, show up, and get the work done. That's what I'm trying to do now, be an example for others, and for myself, I guess. To be a good person, to be a good father, to be a good strong man. It's weird prep for this comp, like going into it, you not know, been a few days out man, it's like, I feel a lot of noise at the moment. Which is annoying. But I know then once we get, once I compete on Saturday, then that's when it's like, whoop, the vacuum just comes in and then there's no noise. No more noise. Fuck me man, it's, been a noisy few weeks. Just volcanoes erupting. <laughs> I've got global warming in my head. <sighs> it's 
just that fucking. I always doubt. I always doubt myself. Every fucking time. <sighs> I know I can do the business, but it still doesn't stop that doubt. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, fucking uh, bullshit. That's all it is, it's just, just all the noise that comes in your head, my head is just, it is just bullshit, that's all it is. Just need to try and be consistent. Get to Glasgow. Because we're performers, that's the thing. We have to perform, we have to put on a show, we have to do this, say that, say this. I just like competing. For Someone asked me a couple of weeks ago, I do a, this men's circle on a Wednesday. So I think I said before about it, it's a group of six of us. We just, we just talk. Someone asked me if I still like competing. That's one of the only things I think I like to do. Out with my safe stuff. You know, being at home and stuff, spending time with Cora and Kushi and family and work and all the rest of it. But that's when, that's when you can just be, you can be whoever you want to be. Or I can just be me, and it's nice. Come Saturday, I'll be ready. Hooper has been adding nicely to his trophy cabinet, and with Tom taking some time away to recover, maybe, just maybe, there's a little space for me to show people a few things. with Tom in my corner, it's the energy between us. The spark that ignites the flame. The brothers. Glasgow. I'm coming.